day. From Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee, this is the National Football League. Tannehill and the Tennessee Titans taking on Russell Wilson and the Denver Broncos. By many accounts, one of the most underrated home venues in all of the NFL resides in the heart of Nashville, Tennessee, and that's where we find ourselves at Nissan Stadium. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Denver Broncos and the Tennessee Titans. started and off we go from Nashville taking in at the three and he'll be stopped up at the 25 here come the Titans for their first possession on offense and leading them out in his fourth season with the team 10th overall in the NFL Ryan Tannehill and one of the things that has really impressed me about Ryan Tannehill has been his perseverance early in his career didn't have the success that he desired had some injuries that slowed his development but he kept working at his craft and now he's a guy that I think you can put a game on his shoulders The NFL's leading rusher in 2019 and 2020, Derrick Henry. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. They'll fake it. Now Tannehill. And incomplete on the deep ball. Man coverage is certainly a staple of their defense, and it's built for plays like that, forcing that incompletion. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. To throw is Tannehill. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot, so you can't underestimate him when he's on the field. Defensively, make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 46. Now Tannehill. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing again is Tannehill. This is Jeff Swain, the tight end. And this is going to be another first down as he'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 34-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. 
And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. Forced out to his left. Open man downfield is Woods. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They got 29 yards that time. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. They'll try to run for it with Henry. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Derrick Henry, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Titans will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, I think Josh Norman can sympathize. He knows a little something about a run like this from Derrick Henry. I mean, that stiff arm might be the best in the business. Oh, there's no doubt about it. We'll see that Josh Norman play forever and ever, won't we? Because at Derrick Henry's size, 6'3", nearly 250, you know he's not shying away from contact. And here he just kept the defender at arm's length as he barreled his way into the end zone. I mean, just put that arm into the chest, and there he goes. Extra point up and good by Bullock, and it's now a 7-0 game. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. Send this one away after the touchdown. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And here's Russell Wilson, 11th season in the league. First, of course, with Denver after a high-profile trade this offseason that saw him dealt from Seattle. And similar to his nickname, Russell Wilson has a dangerous mix of skills, the ability to throw from the pocket, and extend plays and throw on the run. Not to mention an absolute winner. Usually has his team in the playoffs competing for Super Bowl opportunities. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their own 25 yard line. They'll run with a 29-year-old Melvin Gordon. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Second and six, just inside the 30. From the gun, it's Wilson. A throw left side, hold in by Hamler. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Now Gordon on first down. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. That'll bring up second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Wilson. 
His throw incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Here's Wilson. Man open, he's got it complete to Cortland Sutton. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Wilson. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and they have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Throwing is Wilson. That's complete to the tight end, Sauber. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Now it's Wilson. And he's going to have the hook up to Sutton. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 32-yard line. 12 yards on third down as the drive rolls on. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, We'll call this play significant. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Again, Wilson. Eluding the pressure. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. It's picked up by the Titans. There he goes, left side, 30, 10, 5, and they are going to bring this one back. A fumble return touchdown for the Titans. And give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice to such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six.
So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Taking it about the one. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Flush to his right. And he will find his man Sutton. That's complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Now it's Wilson that escapes the sack. And that one going to come up short, low throw. Love his pocket awareness, able to slip out of the sack. But once you take your eyes off the receivers, once your eyes come down and you see the rush, hard to get back downfield and find an open target. Fortunate, that one just wound up as an incomplete pass. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. There's Wilson. This one complete to Jerry Judy. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 37. A nice pickup of 17 yards. Barney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Throwing again here, Wilson. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pick up there, 21 yards. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. That is caught at the seven. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave them with a second and just a few inches left. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. Now Wilson. And it's caught. Touchdown Broncos. Eric Silver from six yards away. And the Broncos are back within a score. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Uh 
On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. So the drive there took six plays, and it ends with a Denver touchdown. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Meanwhile, Tannehill's throw pulled in by Woods. So the completion good for seven there, and it's second down. Here's Tannehill, and it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. A big play on the catch and run, covering 34 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Tannehill. That's caught by Hollister. And they're going to move it down to inside the 25. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Again, Tannehill. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. On any passes in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Now Tannehill. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Woods. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Tannehill. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Nick Westbrook Akine. A nine yard touchdown grab. And the Titans will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. 
Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group, seeing the future. What I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half, and that'll give us momentum going into the second half, give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Here's Bullock now for the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And the result in the end, a Titans touchdown. send this one away after the touchdown. Fields it right around the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Broncos going to go on offense now late in this first half. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. down Wilson yeah, it's a short one here complete to his tight end now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half To throw again on second down. Wilson, that's going to be caught by Judy. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now another timeout called for by the offense as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. To throw is Wilson. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Second and two. Now Wilson. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. So many offense want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. After the incompletion here now, third and two. There's Wilson to throw. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Fourth down, Corliss Waitman now on to punt. zone for a touchback. Here we go, here we go. 
The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has certainly been one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference as the teams have already come back out onto the field for the second half. So let's get you back out as well to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. getting the football first in the second half as they trail and we are back underway Montrell Washington on the return from his end zone and they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27 here comes the Broncos offensive unit here as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. They run it for the first time with a backup Murray. He takes this for three to the 29. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down, then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw. Wilson. Oh, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. So coming up empty here to start the third quarter. Already two scores down. Got to be careful. Yeah, I did notice, though, that the captain of the defense patted the quarterback on the helmet on his way out, pretty much letting him know, we know the pressure's on us. We're going to go out there and try and hold serve for you while you figure it out over here on the sidelines. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return, and it'll be Titan football. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10, right at the 30. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. Baron Browning coming in from that outside linebacker spot. He gets him down. It's a loss of five. Well, partner, we know they came out of the locker room down on the scoreboard, but I will guarantee you the defensive side of the ball gets super emotional. They can come out and play with aggressiveness, with fury, because they don't have to be quite as precise, and it paid off for them on that play, didn't it? Sure did. Excellent play, really setting the tone for this third quarter.
Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And nothing doing here as this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Nothing there, no gain, and now they're looking at a third and 15. It's rare that a man his size can't at least push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You're talking about Tiny? You're talking about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy in, he's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting there and holding on for everyone else to help him out. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. He was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield, but that one was red and timed perfectly, and they were able to break it up. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. It'll be a 44-yard punt, six on the return. And the Broncos take over, first down and 10. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at the 34. They'll try and get the running game going here with Murray. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. This a second and seven from the 37. Looking to throw. Wilson. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. And the Titans are going to take possession of the football. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. The Titans offense now, they get set to head back out here. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. A toss left, Henry. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Tannehill steps away to his left. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 
Tannehill able to take off and pick up the first as well. At this point, this offense feels like they could just roll out anything, and it would work. They are certainly in no hurry for this one to end. Now when they can rack up some stats and continue to add to their lead. Try the air now with Tannehill. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they've got this down to about the 12 yard line. Two yards on second down. Running left, it's Henry. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up first and goal. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Tannehill now to throw. His pass caught at the four. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Back to throw. Tannehill got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Nick Westbrook Akine. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Titans have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense. They made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. Send this one away after the touchdown. This will be fielded inside the five. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. And the football going back over to the Denver Broncos. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And they'll start with great field position at the 31-yard line. Well, these defensive coaches, they sure like what they've got in this rookie corner, and with good reason, as you saw there. It only cost them a day-two pick, and a lot of people thought 
He had first round ability, but when he was available on draft night, that was one where you didn't need the full time to make the selection. You call that pick in early, and he shows why he was so coveted with that interception there. down carry for Henry looking for a seam but finding none he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and that's it no gain on the play it'll be second down run blitz there defensively something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter I think we'll see a lot of it and the difference between that and a pass blitz pass blitz you're just trying to get to the quarterback you're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground in a run blitz you're actually trying to cover up gaps trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football and he'll take this one down to about the 40. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. So they went a little cautious there on third and long. They had nothing wrong with that. Remember, they're playing with a lead right now. So getting a first down, yes, that would be great. But even more importantly, take care of the football. No turnovers, no big plays for the other team. And keep the clock moving. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because... They're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw. Wilson. This will be caught. Judy. Oh, what a juke into space. Down the right sideline. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Looking to throw. Wilson. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Bronco football as we get you reset here. They've got it first and goal as they look to punch in a late score. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Operating from the gun, Wilson. 
And that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Eric Sober, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Broncos have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yeah, that's multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. McManus now for the extra point. It's up and good, and it's now 28 to 14. A drive there of just four plays, and it culminates in a touchdown by the Broncos. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Titans are going to recover the football. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Tennessee offense set to go again. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Defensively, they burn it here with 1.51 left. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll run it again with Henry. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Tannehill to the sideline, and Randy Bullock out now for the Tennessee field goal. This to make it a three-score game late. Bullock's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. After the field goal now, it's Bullock to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. 
Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. But probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. That goes out wide to Murray. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Throwing again on second down. Wilson dancing to his left. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. It hasn't been the cleanest game for him, but there was a sign of improvement as he looks towards the next one. Nice bit of scrambling to move the sticks, and even more importantly, he didn't risk adding another interception to his ledger. Now Wilson on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Murray. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Give him a gain of five on the completion at its second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jeffrey Simmons able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Cameron Farley. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Tannehill to a knee, and that ought to be the final act of this ball game. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Titans are winners here as we say so long from Nashville.